The North Carolina Living Will. What is a living will? This is a document that allows an adult to state their wishes about what medical treatment or other end-of-life care they would or would not want if they become unable to speak for themselves. A person making a living will is called a principal or a declarant. A living will is often part of a larger document called an advanced directive for healthcare. Another part of an advanced directive usually allows a declarant to appoint another competent adult to make decisions related to their life support. This part can be called either healthcare proxy or power of attorney. While a healthcare proxy has the authority to make medical decisions, a power of attorney can also give the authority to make financial decisions. Why use a living will? By creating a living will, you will help your family decide on what should be done in difficult life situations when your health condition requires choosing life-sustaining treatment. The document might also help unnecessary medical care expenses. What should one write in the document? A living will should include the declarant's wishes regarding cardiopulmonary resuscitation, or CPR, mechanical respiration, tube feeding, dialysis, antibiotics, comfort care, and organ, tissue, or body donation. The name of the healthcare agent, if any. The principal's signature, location, and date. Can a living will be revoked? Yes, the document can lose its effect when it is physically destroyed, verbally revoked, replaced by a new living will, or canceled by a written revocation. Now more about creating a living will in North Carolina. In the state of North Carolina, a living will is usually referred to as an advanced directive. It can be made by any person who is at least 18 years old and of sound mind. It should be signed and dated by the declarant or by another person authorized to do so in the declarant's presence. It also requires at least two witnesses of 18 years old or older who are not in any way related to the principal and a notary public. An advanced directive takes effect when the principal is diagnosed with a terminal illness or injury or is in a state of permanent unconsciousness that makes them no longer able to understand and direct their medical treatment. Please note that in North Carolina, you cannot use a living will to authorize mercy killing assisted suicide or euthanasia. The North Carolina Statutory Living Will can be found in the North Carolina General Statutes, Chapter 90, Article 23. An adapted version of a North Carolina Living Will is provided on, for example, the North Carolina Secretary of State website.